Today on Eagle Nation News, we touch base on some of the hundreds of Texas laws that went into effect last Friday. What do these additions and changes mean for Texas residents? Austin Kick, a student here at PHS, recently competed with the Santa Clara Vanguard. Caitlin Wessels highlights him and his accomplishments later in the show. And Christina Folsom will be in studio with Zane Smith and Emma Herring talking about their debate competition this past Friday. All this and more on Eagle Nation News. Prosper, Texas. This is Eagle Nation News. Good afternoon, Prosper High School. Today is Tuesday, September 5th. I'm Sola Kantai. I'm Nico Ray. And I'm Casey Boston. In the news, we've seen a lot of tension between the United States and North Korea, but a few days ago, North Korea has taken some action. Casey, what do you got? <laughs> Just yesterday, it was reported from a UN nuclear watchdog that North Korea is now a global threat after their first successful hydrogen bomb test. The bomb created an artificially triggered earthquake with a 6.3 magnitude. North Korean threats are now relevant to nuclear weapons combined with missiles. President Donald Trump has reached a decision on the reversing of DACA, a program giving young illegal immigrants a reprieve from deportation and then the ability to work in the United States. He announced that DACA will stop processing applicants and gave Congress six months to come up with a new legislative fix for renewing permits. Friday was September 1st, meaning that new Texas laws passed, including the texting and driving ban. Mm -hmm. Along with the new rule, nearly 670 more were signed into law, but today let's just focus on texting and driving. So with the texting and driving, it's basically as simple as it sounds. You can't be driving it on your phone texting or Snapchatting or FaceTiming, anything like that. You just, if you need to do it, then you need to be stopped. And in addition to that, it's not illegal to be on Spotify or your music and your maps. And that raises the question, how will cops know if you're on your music and your maps and not just clearing out your messages and going to Spotify? Yeah. Well, let's think about it from the cop's point of view. If you're looking at a teenager who's on their phone while they're driving, I highly doubt they're texting their mom, telling them that they're on their way home, yeah. probably Snapchatting a friend. <laughs> you know, I'll give you the, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. But you heard it here first, so don't be the kid who is watching Eagle Nation News goes home, starts texting and driving on their way, because you're going to get pulled over. Come on. When we come back, Caitlin Wessels features Austin Kick and his success in the Santa Clara Vanguard. This week on Eagle Nation News, Braden George takes on wakeboarding. Sam Dyer trains for a future in the military. And Game Time breaks down football season opener. For tomorrow's weather, there will be sunny skies with a high of 83 and a low of 62. For your fast forecast, I'm Tyler Winden. Going on a musical tour is typically something students watch, not participate in. But a select few like Austin Keck had the opportunity to travel the country competing in drum corps competitions. Here with more about Austin's journey is Caitlin Wessels. Drum Corps International is a musical marching ensemble where high school and college students can compete against different corps. This summer, Austin Keck traveled all over the country doing just that. I played the marimba in the Santa Clara Vanguard. We're a small aspect of it. The whole show is huge and just everything that's going on, it's overwhelming. Total, there was 18 different states that we would travel to and 31 different shows. A typical day, we would wake up. If it's a rehearsal day, we will have three, four hour blocks. We would finish around 10 and then get to sleep a little bit or go on the bus to the next rehearsal site. The top groups are awarded the individual awards and there's a high percussion award uh, for the best percussion sections as well as the overall champion. This summer, Austin's core, Santa Clara Vanguard, came out second in the DCI World Championship Finals. His percussion section also won the first place High Percussion Award. I was super excited when I heard that Austin and the percussion section of Vanguard got first. It's a dream and it's a blessing and it has really helped facilitate 
his dreams, his goals, and it has elevated his playing beyond anything we ever would have dreamed of. It, it really is extraordinary. I know there are educators, there's people who teach drum corps who've gone their entire career and never won a championship or never won a high percussion award. So for somebody who is a high school student, first of all, just to make the Santa Clara Vanguard and to win a high percussion award in his rookie season is its extremely rare. Well, drum corps is a very unique experience. It's really the only opportunity that you get to do something like that. This experience has been very valuable for Austin, not only for his playing, but also for his future career. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Caitlin Wessels. I can't imagine traveling around the country just doing what I love. So congratulations to Austin Keck for everything that he has accomplished. After the break, Christina Folsom will be with Zane Smith and Emma Herring to discuss their competition from last Friday. UIL Calculator and Math meets after school on Friday in room 1134 on September 11th. See Mr. Gomez for details. Juniors and seniors, there is a college and financial aid information presentation on Tuesday, September 6th in the auditorium at 6.30 p.m. The homecoming dance is October 14th, 2017 in the PHS cafeteria. The theme is masquerade. There's more information to come. Although I do like arguing, debating in competition is a little more difficult. Here in studio with Christina Folsom is Zane Smith and Emma Herring, debate members who, although I don't want to admit it, are a little better than I am. Welcome back. I'm Christina Folsom here with two of Prosper's debate students, Emma Herring and Zane Smith. Thank you for coming on the show today. Um, so I know that y'all had a debate last Friday. Can you tell me a little bit about how that went? Yeah, it was pretty successful overall. We got most of our teams into elimination rounds. I know my partner and I made it to quarterfinals, and Emma and her partner made it to semifinals. Oh, well, good job on that. Thank you. Um, so I hear that people in the bait can speak upwards of 400 words per minute. So what's the purpose behind that? So in our debate rounds, we have set speech times, and the more arguments we get out during that time, the more likely we are to win. So we talk as fast as possible to increase our likelihood of winning the round. All right, well, it sounds like y'all put a lot of hard work into that, and it sounds like a lot of fun. Well, thank you guys for coming on the show today, and we wish you the best of luck at your next debate. Sola? Thank you. Thank you, Christina. Last week, we touched base on Marco's Pizza, one of the dozens of new business additions to the Prosper community. Today, we take a look at what else will be popping up around town. Here with your open segment is Casey Boston. <laughs> Well, I'm sure that most of us have been to the Kroger on Preston, but there are some newer stores quickly popping up around it. Peach Wave and Anytime Fitness have been there for many months now, while other stores are just beginning to open. Very Betty is a gift shop, Castle Nail Spa is a more local place to get your nails done, Dream Dance Center is a dance studio, Honey Lou's Coffee is a coffee shop that is dog friendly, but for those of you that aren't coffee people, there are other, other beverages to choose from. And lastly, Salsa Tex-Mex is a place to get local Tex-Mex here in Prosper. Make sure you're following us on Twitter at Eagle Nation News and turn on our post notifications to keep up with more updates. Thank you, Casey, but I know you didn't just touch through Peach Wave. <laughs> Frozen yogurt is everything to me. It's like one of my meals of the day. And we can't forget that Peach Wave has $3 Thursdays. You can get a cup of frozen yogurt for $3. As if I didn't already know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, aside from Peach Wave, Sola, now for a quick sports update. Volleyball played Friday night at home against McKinney Boyd, coming away with a 3-0 victory. Eagle football played Friday night as well, beating Bernie Champion 47-13. Volleyball is away tonight at J.J. Pierce. Now for a look at the upcoming meetings this week. Speech and debate meets today in the LGI during Eagle time, and stage crew will also meet today from 4 to 5 in room 1168G. Now take a look at what's going on the rest of the week. That's going to do it for our show today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Nico Ray. I'm Casey Boston. And I'm Sola Kantai. Live long and prosper.